guys, so today I decided to do a different type of video. As most of you will be girls and you're going through school, we all know that one of the most confusing things about growing up is understanding how boys work. So I figured today I would bring one of the male specimen to the channel just this once. Hello. Hello. This is Luke and he's gonna be... He's gonna be serious. Serious. Answer just for once. He's actually not gonna throw things in my face. Mm -hmm. So, progression. Yeah. So I have my own questions yeah. and I also ask people on Twitter to send their questions. So think back to like when you were at school and you were like 14, 15, kind of girls are a confusing thing mm -hmm. and boys are a confusing thing. So just try and think back to that mentality of how you were. Um, okay, so I was going to start with one of my questions, but I'm going to start, I'm going to get the silly one out of the way because yeah. this is the question that I was literally asked the most. When boys wear skinny jeans, yeah. where does the wing wang go? Because that is, that is a mystery to girls. Um, genuinely. It, it generally like, like you pick a side and it sort of just. Doesn't that hurt? No. Nah. <laughs> Generally, it you like pick it picks a side and it, it picks goes a side. down. Like you just put them on and then just one and just goes. Mm. Yeah, well, I think I think most guys their their thing has like a side. It sort of leans more to. Yeah, I've heard that. So um, they will hang left, hang right. Yeah, so I think it just sort of like right now. I think I'm. I don't want to know. Left. Okay. I'm, okay. I'm not wearing skinny jeans. Okay. But I'm slightly left. Okay. Good to know, everybody. Luke up fourth, hangs left. I don't know what that means. What if that means something? <laughs> so, like, I think before we move on to like, what do you do if someone fancies you, sort of thing. Like, let's talk about school for a minute. Yeah. Let's get the proper school things out of the way. Number one, mm -hmm. boys' toilets stink. Why? Discuss. Um, they are disgusting. So, so what? Do you have a? Do you want? Shall I go really into this? Yeah, I want. We want to know. Really into yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. So when you're a guy, so firstly, yes, there's, a, there's some places have a pee trough. It's just a, uh, if you don't know what a trough is, it's just literally just a, a metal, line, a metal sort of. line along the wall and you just wee in it. <laughs> um, why, why men's toilets stink? Yeah. How, how, how far into detail should I go? So, okay, Moderately, just, I think. Okay, I so, think, you know. so, okay. For certain reasons, and anatomically, I won't go into even more detail. It's fine. You can't always wee completely straight when you're a guy. Yeah. And it, sometimes you, you go to the toilet and you genuinely are like, I'm going to wee. And like you don't know, you sort of have to guess where it's going to go. That's tough. Not a spray. That's we're pressure. Not, we're not cats. That's <laughs> we're not like marking our territory. That's serious pressure though. But yeah, you have to sort of guess where can it's going to go. Because like sometimes you can just wee and it can go just off like that way. Can you not just like kneel really close into the urinal? And well, then there's like could, no way you'd like, you look a bit weird, but... This is why you wouldn't survive as a man. Okay. Um, you can't like start to, you can't like place yourself in the urinal. <laughs> I don't know. But how no, it's I not even that. It's, it's more like toilets. Work. Cause like when you're around 14, 15, mm -hmm. you don't want your friends looking at you willy. Fair. And so you sort of, you like you use a toilet even though there's a trough to, a good trough, perfectly good trough to use. <laughs> But you use a toilet, and so when you go to the toilet, you sort of gauge, is it going to go left, right, and you're sometimes wrong, and it just splashes all over the floor. So the smell is basically guys who have It's missed. just lots of wee all over the floor. All over the floor but yeah. it's so pungent. It's so... That might be something to do with the fact that guys just, like, well, people in general don't, they, well, they don't hydrate properly. If you, if you, mm. if you drink the, amount of, the right amount of water, you don't Your pee doesn't stick. Wee. That is true. And yeah. also, if you, this is genuinely true, and it's slightly off topic, but genuinely, if you eat a lot of fruit, if you have a lot of sweet fruits, it does actually make your pee smell like less disgusting and more sort of like a sweet kind of. Good. That's just yeah. I, I, I know that day, sounds so. really weird, but. Come and smell my wee. Oh, I'm gonna be serious, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> if a girl yeah. had a crush on you, yeah. Would you prefer them to be upfront and let you know about it, or keep it to themselves and sort of subtle hints, or how would you like a girl to let you know whether they're good looking to you or not, or whether you know them well or not, how would you like them to be? Or I, how would you have liked them to be when you were 15? I think, firstly, it really depends on whether you like them. Because mm. if you don't, like, I've been in situations where someone's been like flirting with me and I don't like them and then that's just awful. Mm. And it's just like, I don't want to even be near you. Okay. Um, not even in a horrible way, it's just awkward and you don't want to lead someone on. Mm. Um, I think even if, even if I really like someone, I wouldn't want them to be too over the top. Yeah. Because it's sort of like, 
then there's no, you don't have to try. Yeah, there's no chase. It's kind of yeah, a, there's no chase, and you sort there's of there's no mystery. It's like oh, that person likes me. Yeah, if that person likes me. I could I could do the thing if I wanted, mm. and if if you then notice someone who maybe doesn't like be so obvious, then you mm. might be more inclined to go for that person. Yeah, I think. No, I get that. I think it's true. Like my mum always used to be like. Oh, play hard to get, play hard to get, because I used to go out with people who then, like, a month later, lost interest in me, mm. and it happened so much, and I was like, what am I doing wrong? And mm. it was just because I was too obsessive, because yeah. I had, like, three years of being a freak, and then a couple of years of being not so much of a freak, yeah. and so I sort of was like, suddenly I was able to be with girls, and I was like, oh, this is the best thing ever, I love you, I'm in love with you, come here. <laughs> And it yeah, you want to hang work. out every ten seconds. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I I look back on old Facebook chats and I'm like, I just I'm sorry, <sighs> I'm just in love with you so much, and I I want to spend every moment. I'm just like no. And Luke, you're with them for like two weeks. Luke, been there. Luke, chill. I've been there. Um, and so I think with any at any point in anything, until you're like married, it's still nice to have a little bit of sort of banter, kind of like not, not too it, just don't be too yeah, don't be too. Mm. So yeah, I think if you like someone, especially the girl, I think be a little bit sort of mysterious. Hard be to aloof, get. you know. Be a bit hard to get because then you sort of, I don't know, it makes it more interesting. You're not sort of putting yourself on a plate, being like, "Hello, you have me." <sighs> no, yeah. I don't. You know what I'm saying with that? Like, there's Take no. Me. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so in the situation where you don't know this girl, like you may have seen her in the corridor, but you've never spoken to her. She's in like maybe the year below or the year above, something like that. Yeah. If you really don't know that person, would you rather that girl try and make conversation and say, oh, hey, I like you, that's or... That's a whole different thing. Or yeah. have their friend say, my friend likes you. Oh, no, no. That's a whole different thing. So if it's someone you don't know and you're mm. like, ooh, damn. I I think in that case, mm. if you're that girl who doesn't know the guy but you're like, damn, and he's like, damn, I think be a little bit sort of just like catch eyes with them and, and that sort of thing. Mm. Like... Um, Maybe don't try and get into their friendship group and like... Yeah, don't be creepy about it. Just make them like, not feel like you're completely ignoring their existence, mm. but also not feel like you're staring at them and being creepy. So what was your other question? Um, like when a girl's like, oh, my friend likes you, my yeah. friend fancies you. No, I did that in like year six. <laughs> it wasn't. I was in love with this girl called Emily in year six. Okay. And I, this is year six, this is when I was ten. Mm -hmm. And I asked her out. Either my either me or my friend Daniel asked her out for me. Okay. I think I asked her out maybe. And we were ten and she went, I just don't think I'm ready for a boyfriend. And me and Daniel were like, Ha Idiot. She's like ten now. She should totally be she should totally be, ready. She should be getting 10. with guys now. Yeah. And I, yeah, it was the most hilarious thing to me. I was like, Phew. She should be you're totally not, ready. You're not seven now, Emily. <laughs> you're ten. Ten. You're double digits yeah, now. Ten. Okay. God. Jeez. Grow up. But yeah, don't none of the friend thing, it's just it's, lame. It just feels a bit uncomfortable, doesn't it? It's like, oh, okay, what, what am I meant to do with this information? Yeah, I don't so. think, I think, um, and again, this is really difficult because I don't want, I don't like, want to generalise or hmm. anything like that. But for me, I think it's, it's sort of, especially in school, I think it's sort of known that the guy asks the girl. Yeah, well, I don't and that's like sort of, that. I don't sort like of, it. No. I don't necessarily like it. And that's sort of, it is but, a well-known but thing. The girl, I think, it's a bit weird. If it sort of feels like, if if a if a, a girl if a girl you like's friend comes up to you, it doesn't. It's not nice. It sort of just feels like she's been discussing you with everyone. Impersonal. And that's because, mm. like, yeah, girls in school talk to each oh, other yeah. about guys a lot, mm. and it sort of feels like a lot more pressure. It's like it's like you're having a relationship with all of them. Yeah. But not in a good way. I get no, I get <laughs> that like, actually. Yeah. No, that makes total sense actually. Yeah, it's just like a bit. Yeah, it's a bit too much pressure. The same for guys. I wouldn't go around going, oh, this person's got a funny bum. Let's all discuss it, lads. Lads on tour. I just, yeah. <laughs> Banter. No. no. Yeah. yeah. No, I, get I also that. don't really have many friends. The thing is, there are guys who do discuss things like that with their mates. It is a sort of... That's horrible. It is sort of an immature kind of 15, 16 year old thing to do. Like, oh yeah, I saw her boobs yesterday. No, yeah, right, I suppose. It's kind of like a, there's sort of this sort of bragging thing. Like, oh, yeah. have you done it yet? Oh, yeah, I have, like 12 times. That sort of mentality, I can't imagine you being a part of that. No. But did you ever see it a lot? Yeah, times? loads. I mean, I, yeah, I'd be, I've had friends who've encouraged me to be part of it as well. But like, I think that with both guys and girls, mm. I think that encourages you to say things 
that you maybe don't mean. So, yeah. like, if you say, like, if, say, you're, you're, you're a guy with a girl, mm-hmm. or you're a girl with a guy, and one of your girly friends is like, oh, has he got a big willy? And yeah. you then you think about it, and you're like, no, not, not very big. And then you sort of didn't mean to say it, but then you sort of start to believe it because all your friends know it, and that's sort of... Yeah. And if you go, yeah, similarly with a guy, like, if, he's, if his friends are like, oh, what's her boobs like? And then you say something that you maybe was like a tiny issue... Mm. In the back of your mind, like, it's then at oh, the she's got a of mind. funny nipple or whatever. Mm. It's then the main thing you think about because mm. you verbalised it. If it's like if you verbalise a problem it, that you're having, it then becomes the main thing mm. in your life because all your friends around you know it. I had a good question on here um, a little while ago. Um, what does it mean when a girl is always the one to text first? Do you think girls think too much into the the amount of kisses and who has to text first and things like that because when I was at school like when I had boyfriends like I would always be the first one to text and then you know oh he only left two kisses instead of three like does this mean he doesn't like me anymore you know if you're a girl who always texts first mm. and that bugs you then don't text first because they'll soon miss you and mm. they'll soon come running but if they're and worth if they it, don't if they yeah they don't then they're not worth it I think that's how I'd mm. see it. Cause like, I, but it might be a completely innocent thing. It depends on the guy. It depends how you read the guy. Because like, I have friends. I'm basically never the person to text first with anyone. Mm. Just because I'm so absent-minded and sort of... I have friendships and relationships to a certain extent where I sort of... You can go about... It can go a few days without really saying anything to each other. But then pick up where you left off and not feel any pressure to constantly be like... Love me. Mm. Lick me. Whereas like, I do think like some girls, I mean, including me, I'm not saying all girls, but I did go through a phase where I thought, well, this person has to text me back in two minutes. This guy obviously doesn't like me. Why is he not yeah. texting me? And then I text him like, do you not like me anymore? Why are yeah. you texting me back? And then I, that, yeah. that never does any good in any relationship. Mm. I, was, I was pretty much in a load of my relationships always the one who texted first. Mm. And then I suddenly realised that those relationships were the ones where I liked them more than they liked me. Yeah. And they weren't the right person to be with. So, yeah, I mean, if that, my advice to that would be if, if you're the person who texts first and that bugs you, stop texting first. And if they don't start texting you, then... I know it's hard to hear, but yeah. it's, it's not... It's not worth it's, it. Yeah, it's not... That's not a perfect match for you, then. Okay, so lowering the tone a tiny little bit... Mm. Let's say like 12 to maybe like 17, 18. Yeah. What is the fascination with boobs? I am dying to know this. Because to us, it's just like, yep, there's just boobs in their chest. What's the big deal? But guys, like, it seems like all the guys talk about when they're like 12, he's like, I want to touch your boobs and boobies. And is it just, do you think it's a fascination because you guys don't have them? Do you think that's part of it? I don't know. Well, the girls get like fascinated by penises. Like not a in like little a, bit, maybe, yeah. well, actually. Well, that's probably the same thing, then. It's yeah, like, but we I don't, don't have one of those. But we don't talk to our friends we'll like, oh, I it. really want to touch this guy's Oh, no, penis. obviously, but that's, yeah. Well, but, like, guys some do, will... Some do. I have some friends who are, like, really weird and creepy. <laughs> but, like, yeah, like, I don't know. I don't I don't really remember being fascinated with boobs. I, probably because I was too busy being bullied. But, uh, <laughs> um, I, I don't, yeah, because, like, that, that whole, like, the first... Three years of my sort of teenage life, pretty much. I think this is not me being dramatic. I pretty much don't remember them anything other than being bullied, mm. which is weird and sad. But I sort of don't remember anything. I sort of blocked it out again. That makes sense. But yeah, that was the most important thing in my life for those three years. Mm. So I'm, I, I remember the girlfriend I was with for two years, but I don't remember boobs. Well, not not no particular. Not in that boob. sort of. No. I, d- I mean, like, I remember sort of being just like that taking over my life so much that I sort of don't remember much else. Fair enough. Um, Do you think, like, But, I mean, maybe... like, bo- boobs are sort of, like, they're the kind of thing where you're, like, when they're hidden, you're, like, oh, I want to see that, and then you do, and then you're, like, oh, all right, that, that's... Boobs are very anticlimactic. Yeah, they are a bit. Yeah. I think, well, I think that's true with, ev- like, Everything. every, like, Everything. sexual thing. Like, if you actually think about it, like, mm. if a girl wanted to see a, a willy, mm. she's, like... I want to see that willy, and then she sees it, and she's like, "Oh, it's just another willy. It's all weird and flappy, flappy and, and groupy." And... Yeah. And the same with like, I, 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 I genuinely, I was thinking the other day, I tweeted something like, um, I, st- "I, I watched Nicki Minaj Anaconda." Yeah. Which is just loads of butts. It's literally just butts for five minutes. I've seen. And that. I was like, I don't find this attractive at all. I don't understand why butts are nice mm. because they're all like they're literally for pooing and farting. <laughs> 
<laughs> and then I was true. like, like I don't understand how like if you if you were to see, you know, sex sells and you see like a bikini model on a on a billboard, that's only sexy because she's not naked. And yeah. if you see a hot man like this on a billboard, it's only sexy because he hasn't got his cock out. If you just had no like swearing, a, <laughs> excuse me. Swear. If you had like if you had a billboard of like Lynx deodorant mm-hmm. and you had like. Like boobs aren't, not all boobs are like porn stars. And so if you had a, an average woman who was like, boob, boob, one, one boob's bigger than the other and, and the flappy lady parts, you wouldn't be like, God, I want to buy some links. You'd just be like, why is that on a billboard? Yeah, that's true though. <laughs> and so everything about like sex and stuff isn't actually great. It's only great when you can't when you can't, see it. Yeah, I completely it's like, agree. Like boobs it's aren't, the chase again. Yeah, boobs aren't that like, exciting. Vaginas aren't that exciting. Penises are really unexciting. They're like an elephant. <laughs> Butts are just weird. Do you think that like some guys perhaps become fascinated with boobs because their friends are talking about boobs all the time? Oh, yeah, it's yeah. It's a case of, yeah, yeah. you know, people putting the idea of boobs in the back of your mind and then suddenly like, yeah, actually, I think I would like to see some boobs too. Yeah. Kind of like that. Yeah. What is the attraction of beards? That's true, actually. Like, when guys are, like, 14, 15, they get their first little bit of stubble. They're, like, so desperate to show it well, off. Well, that's obvious. Is that, like, That's just obvious. A, it's, it's, I am a man Who now. is more grown up? That's it. Who has more testosterone? I guess. That's so it. that's, that's, a, na- that's a nature. So yeah, yeah. It's just, than... it's just, oh, who's got... Because, like, yeah, like, it, you growing a beard just shows you're more towards being a man. Hmm. So that's what it I was. I didn't get a beard till like, four years ago. When I was like 16, 17, I was, I was not a man at all. So when I was like 15, 16, my mum left a razor in my room for when you, when I first needed it. Cause obviously it's, it's like probably like a girl with a bra or a period. Mm. You don't want to ask. It's probably quite awkward to ask. Yeah. Yeah. And so they just sort of left it and it was literally there for a year before I needed it. And she left it there when I was like 16. So I wasn't very manly. Fair I'm enough. I'm still not. Okay. I think we can probably end on one more. Uh huh. I think. Why is it like, if you... If a girl likes a guy and the guy appears to like the girl and they're getting on pretty well and things they're like, oh, they're nearly asking each other out and stuff. And then the guy just completely loses interest, like doesn't want to talk to you, is really off with you, won't text you anymore. Is that like, do you think that's intentional? Like the guy just doesn't want to know anymore? Or do you think there's like... Part of that with some guys is the playing hard to get thing. Yeah. Like if you, like I've been in the situation a couple of times where I've been texting someone I like and then suddenly being like, Oh, I'm coming on too strong, or I'm yeah, this is going too quick or whatever. I should cool off a bit. Yeah, I should chill for a moment, or they'll just stop liking me. Um, so maybe that, uh, maybe they're just a, a rubbish boy, in which case punch them in the willy. Uh, sometimes guys just find someone else. Girls probably find someone else as well. I'm sure. Um, yeah, when you're sort of, I don't know what age the person who asked this question is, but when you're sort of like. 14, 15, 16, you sort of change your mind very quickly about stuff. Um, and sometimes you can, I'm not blaming you for this, mm. but sometimes you can say something that then makes them freak out because they think you're too into them. Or So it's, it's all about trying to like not come on too strong or play hard to get a little bit sometimes so you don't freak anyone out. In It's the same way for girls and guys. If, if I was texting someone who I was sort of flirting with and then suddenly went, I love you, let's get an island and live there, then they'd be like, whoa now, hey now. What should we call our future children? No, Things like hey that. Hey now, yeah, right? yeah, back off. <laughs> um, so probably, yeah, those are a few things, but if it's if you've not done that and you don't think you've done anything to make that happen, they're probably just an asshole, so you should probably just leave and never look back. That's good advice. Thank you. I, like that. I, I am the guru. I think, like, just on the flip side, I have been like that to guys, though. At yeah. times, I have tried to really cool it off and that's just because like I I think I want to break it off with them but I don't want to actually say it I'm you know if I've been gutless and like oh I don't want to break up with them it's really awkward yeah you kind of try so and make that other you person think it's kinder to sort of drift away yeah and then hope that that person breaks up with you I admit I'm I'm guilty of having done that before so maybe that's I've done that yeah. yeah not in the same way of, I, I'm obsessive over what people think and whether people are happy like, yeah. to, to the extent like that I put that before myself sometimes mm. which is stupid so I've done that but sort of like I sort of slowly do it uh the one time I have done it I think I then I then just was like okay I feel bad about this and broke up with them yeah. to not to, to not leave them hanging that's probably like I've, I've only I've been done like 50 times and only been done I only done someone like 
three times. Oh. So th that shows you my track history of, of ladies. But uh, always the dump, never the dumper. Dumpy. Yeah. Dumper, yeah. Always the dumpy, never the dumper. That's it. Cool. Thank you for being in the video, Luffy. Yeah. Thank you for giving us some insight into the male, crazy male mind of like a 14 year old boy. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. I appreciate it. You can check out Luke's channel. It's a little bit less serious than this one. Yeah. Although <laughs> all of you know who Luke is anyway. There's, but like, there's like two serious videos on there. Yeah, true. Two you in, want to find out of those like 400, ones. maybe. Yeah. Yeah, well, yes. Um, and if you have any questions, I am I I can be in another thing. So we can always make another episode. So just leave your questions for Luke about boys and how boys are in the comments below, and Luke will try his best to answer them. Again, Luke doesn't represent all boys, all of the male gender. I don't represent all the female I'm gender. I'm sure. I'm sure I'll have annoyed someone in some way with something I've said. I haven't intended to. I have no idea what it'll be. But if I have, then I. Very much apologise for that. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good. Okay. You can go away now. Bye-bye. Oh. <laughs> Bye, guys.